Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching The Avengers. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you are new. Today, we are finally watching the first Avengers film, and I am so pumped. I feel like this video has been long awaited by many people. I've seen quite a few comments on uh, a variety of my videos asking when my Avengers one will be released, so today is the day, it's here, it's now, and we're gonna be watching the first Avengers film. Full disclosure, I have seen this movie before. This is one of the few Marvel films that I've actually seen, but I saw it in theaters. I believe it must have been when it came out back in 2012. I think I only saw it because some friends in college were going to go see it and I was trying to make friends. I knew nothing about Marvel. I knew nothing about superheroes. I just wanted to make some friends. So um, I think that's why I went and saw it. And I don't really remember much about it except that Loki is a main villain in it. And, and that's really all I remember. So. Uh, I'm excited to revisit this movie with a much better understanding of the origin stories of all the other heroes that are in this film and their relationships to one another. So I think this viewing will be a lot more enjoyable than the first time I watched it. Real quick, before I jump into the movie, before I jump into the rest of the intro, I just wanted to touch base with you guys about something I noticed that's been happening in the YouTube world. For those that are following me on my second YouTube channel, Natty Gold, you know that the reason I created that channel um, was to avoid having issues in the future with copyright strikes and to have another platform that in case something happens to this one, I have another space. And so far, I've managed to avoid any issues with that kind of stuff, but you can never be too careful, right? It can happen to any size. I know larger creators who it's happened to and smaller creators who it's happened to. And two of those creators, I wanted to shout out real quick because I think they just need a lot more love. One of those creators, I'm sure many of you guys are aware, is It's a Primate. He's been doing reactions on YouTube far longer than I have. He does a lot of fun reactions, sometimes sitting down with his partner. He'll do gameplays, he'll do Star Wars related content, The Haunting of Hill House, and he just seems like a really chill dude who just got handed a really crappy end of the stick uh, when he got three copyright strikes. I believe it was a couple months back, I could be wrong, but um, his channel got taken down, so if you could just go and show him some love. He, I believe, is around 20K subscribers now. He's growing very fast again, but he just definitely deserves some love. So go throw him a like, go watch some of his videos. He's really, really chill. I think you guys will like him if you don't already know of him. And the other creator is Vicuña. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. She was mentioned to me in an Instagram DM. Somebody informed me of her situation that she had received three copyright strikes uh, from Studio Ghibli recently. And it's just really scary and really sad to hear of stuff like that. I couldn't watch any of her new videos because I haven't watched the movies that she's reacting to, but she's got a ton of views, a ton of love over there. And I did watch her video where she explains her situation and what's been going on. And my heart just really goes out to her. She seems like a really genuine, kind, down to earth, sweet individual. And she seems to have handled this whole copyright strike thing with a lot more patience uh, than I would. I think I would be a lot more irate. And she's just seems so sweet and understanding. And I think she deserves a lot of love as well. So if you guys could go show both of those channels some love, it would really mean a lot to me. Uh, I'm sure most of you know about both of them already because um, some of them, like It's a Primate, has been around longer than I have. I don't know how long Vicuña has been doing this because I only just discovered her new channel, but um, she's amazing. He's amazing. They're both really cool people. So please go over to their channels, subscribe, like their videos, watch their content. I don't say it often enough, but I really do feel blessed to be a part of this community here on YouTube. Uh, I, I really don't have the words to explain it well. All I can say is every time I read your guys' comments and your messages um, on Instagram, on Patreon, uh, here on YouTube, the comments, it, it's so reaffirming for me to see the kindness and the support and the optimism and excitement like I just feel like we have such a special place over here on YouTube and I just want to see 
everybody supporting other reactors and other people in this same sphere. So, um, yeah, because unfortunately I can't watch a lot of these guys' videos. Like I've seen some of it's a primates content. Um, I watch Brandon likes movies from time to time, but for the most part, I can't. <laughs> we can't watch each other's content if we haven't seen what the person is reacting to. So, um, I can't support them as much as I'd like to, but uh, you guys can. So I think that that would be really cool. That's all I really have to say for this intro. I, I don't really want to talk too, too much. Um, so yeah, I kind of just want to jump on into this movie. I don't have too many thoughts. Uh, I'm just excited to see what happens because, you know, I've seen it already, but it was so many years ago. I mean, 2012, that was literally eight years ago now. Um, and I don't remember most of this movie. So I'm definitely excited to see more of Hawkeye because I remember that he's in this and a little bit more of ScarJo and the whole rest of the crew. I'm excited to see Captain America again because uh, I think I remember feeling weird about Steve when I watched the first Avengers, like thinking he was kind of a bummer. <laughs> and now I get it. Now I really empathize with him because I didn't know his backstory before. Um, so now I'm really excited to see Steve because he's probably my favorite of all the Avengers, to be honest. But I am just ready to jump on into this one, you guys. I'm so excited. So with that being said, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. It is on a little world. Oh, where are we? Huh? What? I don't remember all those other creatures. Colby Smulders, yeah, she was in this too, yeah. Whoa, that is a that is a shot if I've ever seen one. I've never seen a shot from such a sharp upward angle. Who's messing with it on the other side? Is it Loki? Oh, this becomes the doorway, right? This becomes the bridge because Thor destroyed the bridge, so this becomes that bridge now, huh? Oh, it's Tom. Okay, cool. You look really, really evil there, yo, Tom. Sir, please put down the spear. Ha! Oh my god, wait. How did he, is that? Did he get the power of the Tesseract in his spear thing? How? Man, he's just killing all these people. Uh-oh. Oh, not the hawk. Don't break his arm. Please don't break his arm. You have heart. <gasps> no. Oh, no, 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 What is he doing to him? What did he just do to him? Oh, don't turn Dr. Selvig, Loki, please. In your heart. No! Ah, oh, I called it. Oh, God. It's so creepy when their eyes turn black. Did she just get in front of them to stop them? What a f badass! Holy sh**, Colby! I didn't know you had it in ya! From How I Met Your Mother to this! I kind of want to go as Loki for next Halloween. I love his outfit right now. <laughs> Colson, get back to base. This is a level 7. What's a level 7? Level 7 would imply that we're going in a range of numbers. Like, wouldn't you just go to level 10? This feels like a level 10 to me. Are we going to find out what that range is? Let me put you on hold. I would, I much prefer this hold music to real hold music. Who was the stunt double for her, man? I gotta look that up. Cause I'm so impressed with the stunt double. Whenever I see movies like this with like crazy big budgets and you see all the different kinds of sets they have to build, it is mind blowing to think about the amount of work that the art department has to do. Oh, here we go. Steve, it's time for Steve. I don't know if we even really need this. Like, montage of visiting, like, revisiting everything that happened to him because he was the last movie before this one. Like, everybody knows why he's angry. I mean, I didn't when I saw this movie for the first time, but, you know, most people do. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he remembers that thing. Is there anything you can tell us about the Tesseract that we ought to know now? You should have left it in the ocean. Exactly. I agree with Steve. They should have left that shit alone, the Tesseract. All the heavy lifting. Literally, I lifted the heavy things. And sorry, but the security snafu. I like seeing Pepper 
in a more casual outfit, just like existing in the house because she's like a part of this relationship now and she's not just like his assistant. It's really nice to see her in like a casual capacity. Miss Potts, got a sec? He still calls her Miss Potts. <laughs> it's interesting seeing like the different, like how his portfolio is so much more technological and advanced than the other like Steve's portfolio and the Hulk's portfolio because you need to make it so that it appeals to Robert Downey Jr. because his character is so advanced and modern. Like he needs all the flashy like computer stuff in front of him. It can't just be like a piece of paper. Like here's the Tesseract. He's not that thing though. Guy's like a Stephen Hawking. He doesn't know who Stephen. Smart person. He doesn't know who Stephen Hawking is. <laughs> you know, it's really, it's just a, just a huge honor to have you on board. Oh, I've never seen Coulson nervous. He doesn't give a shit about the anybody else. So this is the first time he's been nervous. It's really cute. You cast out defeat. Oh. I was a king. Oh, this is how he. Fe is this where he fell? Is this the planet he fell to? Why does it look like this guy's bleeding inside of his mouth? Who are these guys? What is that thing? What the hell? Who are those people? I must have been lost the first time I saw this. Like, completely and totally lost. Oh, no, this is much worse. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo does personify anxiousness pretty well. Oh, all these poor people. <laughs> these poor civilians. It's always classical music. Classical music is always involved in a lot of like high stakes moments and destruction. What is he doing? What is that? I'm sorry. There wasn't a less grotesque way you could have let them in. Was that necessary, Loki? Man, I am so ready for Thor to come and fuck some shit up with his brother. Jesus, why? Why do you need all these random people to kneel before you? You were made to be ruled. Oh, that guy's looking up defiantly. Is he gonna kill that guy? He's gonna kill that guy. Not to men like you. Don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Captain America! I'm so glad that man didn't die, because he didn't deserve to die. Today. Yeah, you're not gonna get everybody to kneel, Loki. What is your this complex you have about needing to be the ruler of everybody? Mr. Stark. Captain. They haven't met before though, have they? That's gotta be so weird for Steve, man, because it's Stark, it's Howard's son. Still, you are pretty spry for an older fellow. It's unnecessary, Tony. Fury didn't tell me he was calling you in. Yeah. There's a lot of things Fury doesn't tell you. Oh, uh, yeah. I, one thing I do remember about this movie, I do remember these two not getting along. <laughs> What's the matter? Is it Thor? A little lightning? It's Thor. Is it Thor? Things. How did he find a way in? How did he find a way in to the planet? I remember you tossing me into an abyss. I who was, I should be king. <sighs> He's so bitter. Like, Loki, get over it. You could have a brother. You could have a good relationship with your brother. That's way better than being king over people who are scared of you. You listen well, brother. I... I'm listening. That was so freaking funny. Okay, Tony, you grabbed the wrong guy, Tony. <laughs> Does mother know? You wear as her drapes. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> Wherever they landed, it's beautiful. Looks like Yosemite. You know, it always surprised me that, like, Tony's suit is so hardcore that he can just, like, fly through trees, come up from high in the air, land in the ground super hard, and just be totally fine. And, like, is never dead. Because he's really just a man. It's pretty impressive. Hey. Steve! <laughs> Steve's like, shut up! Steve would be the one to break up the fight. He's the most mature. Put that hammer down. Uh, yeah, no. Bad call. He loves his hammer. <laughs> Bad call! He loves his hammer! What? So, vibranium, the, the material that Steve's shield is made out of, is more powerful than Thor's hammer? <laughs> That's ridiculous! You guys had to destroy a forest. Loki is beyond reason, but he is of Asgard. And he is my brother. He 
killed 80 people in two days. I was adopted. <laughs> that is true. Well, if he could do that, he could achieve heavy ion fusion at any reactor on the planet. Finally. Someone who speaks English. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they get along. That's nice. Loki used it to turn two of the sharpest men I know into his personal flying monkeys. Monkeys? You don't understand? I do. He's excited because he got the reference and he normally doesn't get the reference because it's old enough for him to get. So he was excited. That's really cute. See, these are the things I didn't pick up on the first time I watched the movie because I didn't know how old Captain America was. So you're saying that the this old... way they're looking at each other through the glass. It's so yeah, funny. Save my life. Save it for what? I guess we'll find out. Oh, I like that they're getting along. It's nice to know that some of these guys get along and can have some heartfelt, sentimental moments. Agent Burton was sent to kill me. He made a different call. Your world in the balance, and you bargained for one man. She loves him, doesn't she? Dracoff's daughter. Oh, he knows about her. Sao Paulo. How does he know about everybody? Is it because he read up on them, or, like, can he magically read their minds or something? Oh, no, Barton told me everything. Oh, okay. I got my answer. You're a monster. You brought the monster. So, Banner. That's your play. Ha 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 ha. She's so good. She's such a manipulative badass. I'm sure if he still made weapons, Stark would be negative. Man, this... On. How is this now about me? This sorry, isn't everything? I thought she was argument. It's just excuse me, did we come to your planet and constantly building on each other with like the circular panning as well as the witty remarks everybody's piping in? You're not going alone. You gonna stop me? Put on the suit, let's find out. I'm not Guys, stop fighting! Enough already. Oh, there it goes. Put on the suit. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice moment. Like, please, please put on the suit. Now, before they was threatening him, and now he's like, okay, please. Oh, was he gonna Hulk out? We're okay, right? Oh, God. And that's like the one, sh that's the guy she's scared of the most. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They, they need to put this ship on the ground now. Their only goal should be landing this plane. Unless they're over water, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh no, he is gonna chase her. Oh god. Oh god, in the first Hulk movie, he didn't chase people that were just like scared of him and fleeing him. He only chased and hurt people that were attacking him. I don't like this Hulk. Is it Thor? Did Thor save her? Oh. Oh, I remember, I remember the Thor and the Hulk having a contentious relationship. I do remember that. Where is his hammer? How far away is your hammer? Why are you so far away from your hammer, Thor? Okay, it's all right. Oh, oh, there goes the plane. Oh, the plane. You just keep making him angrier, though. Like, fighting him doesn't work. Could Thor die at all since he's a god? Like, is it possible for him to die? You guys need full evac on the entire ship, not just- Oh god. They have a grenade. Oh no. How is this thing still flying at this point? This thing must be the size of a city. Uh oh, he's gonna shoot. Oh. Yeah, what did you think was gonna happen? What did you think was gonna happen? The only problem is, like, Mark Ruffalo is now on this plane. Oh dude, you're dead. You're dead, dude. I don't know why you thought you could shoot the Hulk. Okay. Oh, thank God. Whoever thinks they can shoot the Hulk, like you... We've learned this. You can't do that. Nothing happens. Oh, Steve, you gotta take care of this guy. Oh, he's by the red lever. It's right there. Steve! Steve! No! Oh, no! I'm having Bucky flashbacks, man. Oh, no, I don't like that. The humans think us immortal. Should we test that? Oh god. You're so heartless, Loki. It really bums me out how heartless he actually is towards his brother. I kind of hoped that he had a heart. Nice, Coulson. I don't know what it does. I don't even know what it does. You want to find out? <gasps> Coulson! No, not Coulson! Oh, I'm having like 
vague memories of this, but I was less attached to this guy the first time I watched, so I didn't even... Coulson died?! You know, Loki really is so heartless, and it bums me out because, like, I empathize with him the most out of all of the villains that we've met in this world, and I think he's a really cool villain, but I want him to be better, you know? That's what's so heartbreaking about him. You just want him to, like, be a part of the family and be a good guy, and he's just not. You're going to lose. Where is my disadvantage? You lack conviction. Hmm. I don't think I Nice shot, Colson. So that's what it does. <laughs> you know, I do remember that, but it just didn't that I it didn't stick with me that moment. I guess none of it stuck with me because I did I wasn't familiar with these characters. I don't want Colson to die. He's grown on me so much. Oh god, Tony. Oh my god, Steve! Steve the lever, Steve the lever, Steve! Put the lever, Steve! See the lever! See the lever! Uh oh. Oh! Oh my god! 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 Oh, that was a scary feeling just to hear the silence. That sound design was really good. Whenever you have all this like crazy noise, like the whirring of an engine with the music, and then all of a sudden it gets quiet and you just hear him go, uh oh, it's like, makes your heart drop. Oh, I'm out here. Not an option. Oh. It's okay, boss. Dang it, I liked him. I completely forgot that he died. Where did the Hulk land? I just remembered that the Hulk was also ejected from the, like landed on a plane and that crashed. I don't know where, where he landed. Oh my God. Oh no, he's naked. <laughs> See, look at that. You're an idiot. Why? For believing? For taking on Loki alone? Is this the first time you lost a soldier? We are not soldiers. Tony's such an interesting character because, like, he's still a kid, you know? He gets so emotionally invested in the people he cares about, and, like, you can see his inner child come out a lot more than other characters. Loki, he's a full tilt diva. That's true. Parades, he puts a monument built in the skies with his name plastered. That's why I like him so much. He's theatrical. Did he just figure out where Loki's gonna go? No. No. Really? Why? His building? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh yes. I love this Mean Girls walk. I always call them that the Mean Girls walk when you're walking in a trio like a triangle, like one, two, three. It's a Mean Girls walk. The Chitauri are coming. Nothing will change that. What have I to fear? The Avengers. <laughs> it sounds lame when he says it like that. There's no throne. There is no version of this where you come out on top. And also, like, a lot of people aren't just going to settle for you being a dictator. Like, you'll just kill a lot of people. When they're so busy fighting. Don't, don't let him get close to you. Tony! Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a direct portal to New York City. That's inconvenient. And to think if we just had, like, left the Tesseract in the ocean and not tried to use it, nobody would have ever known it was there. It would have been fine, right? Did they just put a camera in a car and then flip the car, hoping it would look cool? Because that's how much money they had? Is that what they did there? Oh, not the A! When you, when you see how often New York City gets trashed in superhero and action films, it's kind of remarkable to think, like, how many times New York City had to build itself back up every time it gets destroyed. You think this madness will end with your rule? It's too late. We can, together. Loki, please. Loki! All right. Uh, okay. You know, I, I understand Thor's optimism and trying to hope he'll be a better person. I get it because I feel the same way. Tom Hiddleston does such a good job of like sh being vulnerable in a lot of his moments. And it makes you have that glimmer of hope. Like maybe, maybe he'll cave. Maybe he'll be a better person. Maybe he'll do the right thing. And then he just never does. <laughs> oh, he's baiting it to follow him. I see. Oh God, the hot dog cart. 
Have you guys ever actually ordered a hot dog from a hot dog cart like that in New York specifically? I never have. I'm Jewish, so I'm biased. I will only eat a kosher hot dog. So I've never gotten a hot dog off of one of those carts before. Mark! Banner! I don't know what to call people. I keep wanting to call them their real names and then I'll call them their character names. I can't decide. Oh, it's time to get angry, Banner. I, I remember this. I'm always oh. angry. I remember that. That was the one thing I remembered. They really needed Banner. They really needed Banner. Now it's complete. Now we're complete. Good job, guys. You know what's funny? Like, the Hulk is staying calm enough right now to stay there, stay in place, and take commands. Like, he's never been able to do that before. <laughs> That's ridiculous! He can just sense. He's like... He's like River and Firefly. Oh, not the museum. Is that, oh no, is that Grand Central? That's Grand Central. That's a shame. Oh, the history. I remember that too. Until I'm certain my team can't hold it, I will not order a nuclear strike against the civilian population. If we don't hold it here, we lose everything. They're ordering him to nuke Manhattan. Talk about panicking. Give him a chance. Oh, he's just too good. He's just too good. <laughs> I am a god, you dull creature. And I will oh, I remember. I remember this. <laughs> you have a missile headed straight for the city. Hold on. Three minutes. Three minutes? Oh, so, so Stark is going to stop the missile. How is he going to stop it? I got a nuke coming in. It's gonna blow in less than a minute. Oh, he's gonna set the nuke. He's gonna put the nuke up. I remember now. Yes, he's gonna put the nuke up the portal. Man. Oh! Why? You cut it real close there, Tony. Why? Huh? Oh, as soon as their thing exploded, their power is shut down? Is that how it works? What? Thor! Thor! Yes, Thor! Yes, Thor! Oh! Oh, it was the Hulk! Oh, the Hulk smash in a good way! Oh! It's gonna be okay, just give him a second. Don't worry, there's an Iron Man to three. <laughs> three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> They were all just waiting cinematically with the light behind them. Oh! Am I- did I just see screen play by Joss- I don't know how to pronounce his name, Joss Whedon? That's so funny that he wrote this script and I'm like in the midst of wrapping up Firefly. It makes sense why there are so many comedic, well-timed moments. He's really good with fusing high-stakes drama with comedy. He's really good at that. Okay, I remember that scene, but I still don't know who that character is, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that guy on like billboards or on like cover art for future Avengers movies. So I know he'll come back around, but I don't know his name and I don't know who he is. So that'll be fun to figure out. Well guys, that was a super fun movie. I'm so glad I got to revisit that film with you guys. Um, I definitely didn't remember a lot of what happened and a lot of moments hit me completely differently knowing these characters' backstories, understanding their relationships a lot more. Even things like knowing who Agent Coulson was, I completely forgot that he died in this film and his death hit me really hard, it made me cry. Because, you know, by the time we've seen him in Iron Man and Thor, you start to really get a sense for his humor, his dry sarcasm, and it, it, he started to really grow on me. So it's sad to see him go. Um, but I do agree that the Avengers team definitely needed something to pull them together. So I was happy to see the development of them learning how to work as a team. And it's really happy uh, to know that Joss Whedon had such a large part in the making of this film. I had no idea until I saw his name in the credits. So... 
that's definitely a plus side to being forced to sit through the credits because that's one thing I don't really do unless I'm in theater. And when I watch movies home alone, I only really do that if I'm super curious. So usually with like indie films or smaller, lower budget films, I'll be more curious about who made them because I might actually know the people who worked on them. Whereas these Marvel films, I just expect that I'm not gonna know anybody, so I'm not as curious. But uh, to see Joss's name was cool because I'm still watching Firefly. I'm getting towards the end of that now. And I just like the idea that I'm starting to familiarize myself with more filmmakers work the more that I do this on YouTube. I went so much of my life <laughs> without watching a lot of these movies, a lot of shows, a lot of pop culture things, but also a lot of critically acclaimed things that tons of people have watched. So it's kind of funny because for so much of my life, a lot of my knowledge about filmmaking was from an outside perspective. Like I would watch certain things and I, I read a lot of theater and plays. So I understood technically how things happened and I understood artistically how things happened, but I didn't get a feel for a lot of specific creators tastes and styles. And the more that I do this, I start to familiarize myself with different people's work and I start to understand a hell of a lot more. So that's definitely one thing that I really appreciate making these kinds of videos for. I definitely feel like my knowledge about different creators is a lot more vast than it used to be. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, this definitely makes me excited to watch future movies. I don't know which one is next. I'll probably put a text card right here <laughs> once I figure that out. Um, probably like a Thor or a Hulk or an Iron Man movie. Um, but I'm definitely excited to get back into Captain America's world specifically because I really loved Steve and I would just love to see more of his character. I think he's such a noble, sweet, genuine character. Um, I really love all of the characters at this point, especially Tony Stark too, because he's so funny, but um, it's nice to settle in with some Steve stuff because it's just, you know, wholesome and pure. But I can't wait to see what comes next for this Marvel world. I know there's so many other movies, things like Doctor Strange and uh, some Spider-Man movies. And I've seen the first Guardians of the Galaxy, but I haven't seen the others. So I know there's a whole ton of films that I'm just not even prepared for. So I'm really excited to visit those worlds with you guys too and see how those characters came to be because I just have no idea about so much of this universe. So should be really fun to experience that with you guys for the first time. But before we do that, we have some holiday films. So I wanted to get this video out for you guys because I was kind of hoping I would get it out before the holiday season started. That didn't happen, but I didn't want to keep you waiting any longer on this one. So I put this one out, but for a couple videos after this, we've got some holiday themed stuff again. So. Yeah, we're gonna take a little break, watch some festive content, some wholesome, heartfelt content, and then we'll get back into the super fun action superhero films. But yeah, I really enjoyed this one and I hope you did too. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next, and subscribe if you want to. Until next time, stay golden. Bye.